All right, what's up, everybody? If you guys are just tuning into this channel for the first time, I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas. Have you considered purchasing a property out here in Las Vegas and you're buying your first investment property or your first rental property and you don't know how to calculate it? So we got something special for you guys today. How to calculate investment property, okay? I'm going to break it down very simple for you guys. Now, um, just to keep it simple, this is just going to be based upon a all cash deal. We're going to simplify it. Now, when you start getting into financing, uh, the calculations are going to be a little bit different. So there are really three main components to an income property to figure out what the rate of return is. Okay. And this is the most important thing. Uh, when it comes to any investment property, it's this right here. Okay. Return on your investment. So what I mean by that is that no matter if you're buying an investment property or if you're buying uh, an investment deal, you know, or buying a company or whatever you're buying, what it really comes down to is how much money are you putting into the deal and what is your return back, right? What you're getting, okay? We need to figure out what is that percentage? What is that rate of return? The rate of return just indicates how fast that money is coming back, right? So there are three main components to this, okay? What we have here, we have the purchase price, okay, that's one. What the purchase price is, is basically whatever you bought the uh, property for. Then now we need to figure out what is the monthly rental incomes, right? Then from there, we need to figure out what the expenses is, right? So what happens is we take the expenses minus the income, gives us our total. We take this number and we divide it by the purchase price, which gives us our rate of return. So that's something that we need to figure out. So let's figure that out together. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that here. So now we're going to head off to the expenses, okay? The expenses column. So if we take a look, there are a couple things that you're going to have to realize that when you're purchasing an investment property out here in Las Vegas, uh, there's a lot of expenses, believe it or not. So let's take a look at this. We have property taxes. Property taxes here is due every single quarter, okay? Then we have insurance on a home. Now keep on keep in mind, insurance on a investment property is gonna be a little bit more expensive versus a primary, but not by much. Also, if you have a property that has a pool, right, that also may be a little bit more expensive because of the liabilities. Now, management fees, this is gonna be important because management fees, if you manage a property uh, on your own, there's no expenses, but if you have multiple properties, then you may want to hire a property manager or if you're also out of state too as well. A lot of homes out here in Vegas will have an HOA, so we need to figure out what that expenses is as well. Also keep in mind, if you buy an investment property out here in Las Vegas, make sure to read the HOA resale package because some places may not allow you to rent out uh, the property, okay? You have trash and sewage. Trash and sewage is um, typically due every quarter, okay? Now, these two right here, right, depending on which state, these are actually voluntary liens, okay, against your property. There are some landlords will pass that fee to the uh, tenant and have that tenant pay those, uh, those bills directly. However, I never do that, and the reason why is because there are voluntary liens that are attached to your property, if you don't make these payments, what happens is they could literally foreclose on you. So what I do is I just increase the rent, okay? So now let's figure this thing out together. So let's just say we happen to purchase uh, a property here in Las Vegas for $100,000, all cash, okay? Now, now that we purchased it all cash, we check out the comps, we realize that we can rent it out for $12,000, I'm sorry, um, $1,000 a month. But we need to figure out what a rate of return is based upon an annual, okay? Because typically when we say return on investment or the rate of return, we wanna see what's based upon annual. So now we're gonna take it times by 12. So now we know that we're making $12,000 a year off this investment deal. Now, if we just take this number and divide it by the purchase price, that tells us we're making a 12% return. But there's other compensating factors. It's this right here. 
the expenses. So that's why we're gonna head over to the expense column, right? So taxes on a hundred thousand dollar home, let's just say out here in Las Vegas, it's four hundred and eighty dollars. Insurance, three eighty. Sewage is gonna be two hundred a year. And I'm calculating this annually, okay? Trash, same thing, 200. HOAs, okay? My HOAs are about $82 a month, but you know what, we're gonna simplify this. We're gonna make it $50 a month, so it's gonna be $600 a year, okay? Property management is typically 10% of the Uh, rental income, so it's twelve thousand, so it's twelve hundred bucks. So we're gonna come back here, and that's typically about twelve percent, but that's always negotiable too as well. So that's gonna be twelve hundred. Okay, so let's calculate this all together here. Okay, so this is eighteen, right? Eighteen, two thousand twenty-two, right? Twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, sixty. So it's twenty-eight, sixty. So this is our expenses for the whole year for this property, okay? Now also keep in mind, you should always pay yourself too as well. Even though that you don't have a management fee, you should always pay yourself, okay? Some investors will keep a 10% reserve as well on top of this. However, I don't. Now, it's totally up to you on how you want to calculate this. So now we know our expenses is that 2800 a year, right? So we're going to take 2800 a year. So now let's figure this thing out. So now what we need to do is take 2000 or 12000, I'm sorry. We're going to take 2800 Oops. Moving too fast. 2800 minus $12,000. That gives us a total okay, of 9,200. Now we need to take this number divided by our total purchase price because remember I told you it's how much money you're putting into the deal and how fast you're getting that money back, right? So I can tell you right now this is about a 9.2% uh, return obviously. So it's gonna be a 9.2% percent. So now the question here is, is this a good rate of return for you? 9.2%. Okay. Now, how do you determine if this is actually a good rate of return? It's very simple. What you're going to do is go and take a look within your state or your city or your neighborhood. And you're going to take a look at what the median price point of the home is. If you bought it at this price, same thing, you're going to go through the math. You're going to take a look at the income. And at that point, you're going to uh, run the numbers to see what the rate of return is. Some uh, areas may be higher, some may be lower. Here in Las Vegas, the average yield right now is about a 3%. Now, when I was buying investment properties about eight years ago, it was literally at a 16%. But that no longer exists anymore. So... What it really comes down to investment properties as you're building your real estate portfolio, it really just comes down to how fast is your money working for you. So 3%, is that good? Well, that just depends on you. So there's no right or wrong answer as far as what should I be looking for. And never use this as a barometer. When you speak to an investor, right, never use 3% or as a barometer. You need to find out yourself right? What works better for you? So what you're going to do is take a look at your whole real estate portfolio. Let's just say if you had, right, properties one, two, three, four, five. One is yielding 3%. One is yielding 6. One is 16%. One's in, uh, let's just say 9% on this one. And this one is 2%, right? So obviously out of these five properties here, you know that this property is yielding you a lot of money. You have a high yield on this one. Let me see if I can go green here. Here we go. We got green on here. There you go. 
This one is producing. This 9% is producing. This 6% is reducing. So probably what I would do is take a look at this property here, this property here, these two, and probably analyze it to see, do we need to liquidate these two properties? Then what you're going to do is go back out into the marketplace to find more investment properties. But that's going to be on a whole nother episode. Also, keep in mind that if you decide to do financing, the return on investment is going to be completely different. So I'm going to show you how to analyze that later on in another video. Now, if you guys uh, find this content to be very valuable and would like more content like this, let me know in the comments below. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Other than that, until next time.